Hello, I'm Peggy Davis, and I wanted to show you how to create uh, background leaves and extra value and depth to your painting by adding thin layers of paint on top of one another. Now, this is a peacock painting that I've already started. It's only about, you know, three quarters of the way through and half through. And I've already started with two layers of paint. Um, if you can look closely, you can see that I started out with um, a turquoise green blue in the background and it, you'll see it showing through where the beak has been painted and around the leaves and um, I put my basic uh, values in for my flowers and for my peacock and um, so I have my first layer which is blue and then I have a second layer which I took like an olive green and a light turquoise and I kind of muddled it through the rest of the painting putting my darks where I wanted my darks and kind of where my lights are going to go. I'm probably going to change this up a bit. And this will probably have, this background up here will probably have four or five layers, um, or six or seven layers even, uh, before I am finished with it. Um, you can see that I've base coated my leaves. They're all, I outlined them in purple and I wasn't very careful about it. I just, I'm going to have some purple in my leaves, so I thought I would outline the purple. A lot of that will disappear, but I wanted it in there to give it a little extra um, character, a little extra uh, interest in the painting. And so what I want to show you now is, again, how to use the background colors that you already have uh, to create extra leaves in your painting. And that's done with just painting thin layers. I've started um, with my, my handy dandy, really expensive palette here, and I have um, uh, Thale green, I have um, yellow ochre, I, I have some cadmium yellow, I have my alizarin crimson, some titanium white, and just for me, for convenience sake, you can actually mix this color, but um, I, I kind of like this color and so I kind of add it to my palette. Um, a nice light olive green. I also have a little puddle here of Liquitex, Liquitex Ultra Matte Gel. Now. I, you can use water. You don't have if you don't have matte gel. You can use water, but on this canvas, this is not one of my favorite canvases. I didn't really realize that until after I painted it. You know that I wasn't really happy with the grain of it. So um, this matte medium helps my paint flow just a little bit better. But again, if you don't have the matte medium, uh, you can use just water, maybe like a quarter water to your paint, just enough to thin it out. And I still will use a little water. I'll add a little water to my paint just to get my paint to flow a little better because I really want just nice thin um, a thin coverage of paint. And I've already kind of started here so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Uh, and you could draw these in if you'd like. But what all, all I'm doing is I'm just going in and I'm lightly tracing around an area for a leaf. I'm not getting too close to my flowers or my other leaves because I want to leave that kind of shadow look around them to soften the painting. And so I'm just kind of coming in here and I'm just not even being careful about it. I'm just kind of adding a lighter color over top the color I already have. And it's very light, doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, I'm probably going to have a couple more layers over this before it's all done. And I'm just tracing around where I would like some of these background colors to pop out right here. So you can see all of a sudden now you have a really nice leaf popping out of your background color. And the nice thing about that is when you have, a little watery there, but um, when you do this, you'll notice that your leaf has, um, and I don't know how well you can see it, but you'll notice that your leaf has almost like a faux finish in it. And that's because I've already got two layers of color in it. And because of that, I didn't have to put a lot of values in that because my values are kind of already in that. And again, I'm just kind of painting. I'm not really being careful right now because I know I'm going to go over this again. And I'm just kind of highlighting these leaves to give the illusion that I have some background leaves behind the leaves that I already have. Again, not, not painting too close to the things that I've already had so that kind of some of that green from the back shows through to give it, so you see that? So that it gives it like a little darker look behind the flower and so it gives that a shadow behind it. But it's a natural shadow. It's an, a shadow of um, green which is 
you know, like there's more stuff back there. So, and then this will dry. Now say you do this and you're like, man, I really hate the color I put in. It's just terrible. I don't like it. It's not what I was going for. Um, let's say I pick the color orange, you know, and I'm like, man, I don't really like the orange. Don't, you don't have to worry about it because you can go right back in with another color over top of it. And again, just leaving just a hint of that orange in your painting. And that orange, even though you didn't want it, just the fact that, because in nature there's lots of colors. There's oranges that we don't see. I mean, in nature it's mostly shades of gray, but there are, where the sun hits, there's going to be flecks of orange or flecks of, you know, uh, yellow or turquoise. Just all the different colors are going to be in there. And so, if you don't like the orange and you just paint over it, but you leave just a little bit of that orange in there, you're going to have another added element of interest to your painting that you didn't that you didn't have to work hard to get, and it's just going to draw people's eye in because it's going to be unexpected, and they're going to really see how did she get all those little tiny colors in there. So. As you can see, this is what I've done, and this is just, I mean, this will be more detailed. And as you get this color in, you can go back over this color with a darker color in spaces and so that you can make this light green turn into lighter leaves. So now you have the medium leaves, you have lighter leaves, you're going to have um, darker leaves, and then on top of that you can paint even darker leaves. So you have four layers of leaves on your painting, which shows volume, it shows um, value, it shows uh, that your painting is um, got depth to it because they can see it going from front to back, like there's distance to it. It's going to add, add a lot of interest to your painting just by lightly painting over um, different your, your different layers with a light, just use light coats of paint. And you can do this also in, you can do this also in um, the rest of your painting too. You wonder how people get the different, um, adding a little bit of turquoise blue to my palette for a second because I just thought maybe I'd show you one more thing while we're sitting here. So um, if I can get it on here, it doesn't want to. Okay, so if you'll notice on the head of my peacock I have this little gray value here. Well that is going to be white eventually because it is white on your on your peacock. So you can lightly go in and take like a turquoise blue and you can paint that um, like um, a, a very light thin shade of blue because even though this is going to be white I mean no peacock is just completely white it's it's not in this area there's going to be this peacock is going to have like a tinge of blue to it so you're going to go in and you're going to paint your blue same same process I've got you know the dark color underneath and now I'm going to go in and add a lighter color to the top of it and then after that dries I'm just going to get that little, of course I'm just showing you this for purposes, I may go in and tweak it a little bit, but I want you to kind of see that, I mean, it, that painting or that part of the peacock is not going to be just white. And most whites are not just white. So when I go to add this color of white in, I'm not going to leave it just white. I'm going to put two or three layers on top of this, on top of this peacock, sorry I'm mixing my colors here. Um, so I'm taking some white, and I'm going to add just a tiny bit of alizarin crimson to it. So I've got my nice aqua while that's drying, and now I've got my alizarin crimson, and I didn't take even all the blue out of my palette. And I'm just going to paint over this. Let's see if we can get that the way I want it. So we're not taking too much time showing you this. I'm kind of adding my aqua in and a little bit of red, and I'm going to paint now another layer over top of that. Now again, this is probably going to have two or three layers on it too, because I, I want this to look a little depthy, depthy if that's my word. That's a Peggy ism, ism. Okay, and you're going to paint, start to begin to paint your white in there. Now I did this wet. I mean, really, it should be dry, so that you don't. Um, pick up your last color too much unless that's what you're intending to do to mix it so it's okay so it's toning down my blue but I'm making sure that I let some of my blue stay there where I can see it on the outsides and now I'm mixing another color in there which is kind of a 
a lighter white with blue in it and so I guess it would be a lighter aqua and it's got just a tinge of red in there and when that dries when that dries I'm gonna go in with a brighter white with a little red in it until I keep doing it I keep adding layers until I build up to the the white that I would like for this painting and so nothing is ever a tr in, in an animal it's not a true white I mean it's going to have yellow ochre in it it's gonna have you know uh, blue in it, it's going to have alizarin crimson in it, it's going to either have more more yellow, more blue, or more red. Everything, you have to look at your painting and decide, you know, where do I need to put more in? More red, more blue, more yellow. Because those colors will change the effect of the color that you're using. So like, say this color up here, now that I've got it in, and I'm like, okay, I like that. Well, in the, the next layer, I might want to put a, add a little alizarin and crimson into my green to get like a different shade of green. But I'm just trying to show you how you can go in, add layers of color to get different effects. And this is an effect uh, so that you don't have to paint all these. You don't want to be painting in that leaf. You want that leaf to kind of come out of what you already have. So thanks for joining me. I hope you uh, liked what I told you today. And... Um, Come back and join me again. Please subscribe if you like this video. Thank you. Have a good day.